discuss right now. Let's bring in um, Melissa Armo, owner of the Stack Swoosh, to talk about Apple's upgrades. Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me this morning, Laura. All right. So first off, what do you make about Apple's announcement of iPhone 10? Well, first of all, the stock had a crazy day yesterday. First it fell in the morning, then they started the conference, and the stock rallied and it almost made a new high. So, you know, there's a lot of optimism right now in the overall market itself, and, you know, Apple's a market leader. So the previous high was 164-ish for Apple, and I think it's going to make another new high soon. The only thing that happened yesterday is they announced that they're not going to be able to have the phone until November, but they're launching the, the new TV, the new watch, all that stuff you're going to be able to order and get in the next couple of weeks. So I think the phone, the new i10 uh, phone, mm -hmm. is going to be the hot Christmas Christmas gift this Since year. Since we're looking at a, a chart of the stock, if it gains 34 more dollars and shares hit 194, Apple is a $1 trillion company <laughs> looking at market value, which is unbelievable. But I think the disappointment comes with the delayed launch of the, the, the high end, the $999 iPhone. Uh, it's not going to, you know, get to customers until November. Yeah, that's the thing. That's why I said it's going to be really, that was the only thing yesterday I think that surprised people because the other products are going to be available almost immediately. And that's typically how Apple launches the product. So who knows why? It, I don't think it matters. It's going to be available for the Christmas. But Apple reports on October 24th. So that's not going to be part of the sales of that product right. isn't going to be part of that, which, you know, probably investors were expecting. However, the stock is so strong. It's, you know, and I think people are going to expecting that in 2018, you know, earnings for the first quarter of 2018 are going to be really, really good for the stock based on the yeah. sales of this. Again, you were mentioning the, the 999 price point. I don't know. I mean, Apple makes you want to spend the money. <laughs> I don't even know how else to say it, but it's like the watch, the TV. I mean, now they're going to be streaming right. these live sports. You know, I mean, people are going to love that. So we might see customers hold off on purchasing, let's say, the 8 or the 8 Plus and, and waiting for the X. But I do want to, you were talking about live sports, live news, mm -hmm. available on the new 4K Apple TV. Yes. You have pretty high expectations about that. I think this is, I mean, I think this is big. This is really, really big. Apple TV has been out for a while, but not everybody has it. But now this is like a reason for people to have it because you can go and watch news and the sports live streaming. And it, I, I think in the future, it's, Apple could possibly end up having their own content, just like Netflix. And that would be amazing for the stock. And, and, I mean, anything's possible. If yeah. anybody can do it, Apple can do it. And they've proven that they can do it better than so many other companies. So why not? I mean, right. this, this new live streaming stuff, that's like a window into the future of what they're potentially going to mm -hmm. do, which is could they could create their own content. And then you've got to get it. You've got to get the Apple TV then to watch those shows. Mm -hmm. See, that's what Netflix started to do, and Netflix has done an amazing job with it. I actually thought the one more thing yesterday was going to be an original TV show. <laughs> anyway, Melissa, thank you. So, uh, so good to see you this morning. Thanks for having me.